Hi everyone, my name is Luke Mitchell. And I'm Corey Beer, and we make up the MV team here at Greenfin Realty. And today is Good Friday, March the 30th. So this past week, uh, we've had a pretty busy week for both of us. Um, I had the pleasure of closing another deal yesterday. Uh, the deal I've been working on for <laughs> quite some time. It's a great yeah. feeling. Uh, always good to hand over those keys to a very deserving family. Definitely. And congratulations, by the way. You've been Thank working you. on that for yeah, a while. It's and been a long time. It's always good to uh, to close escrow. Um, we've also been taking some drone videos. I was able to take a little day off on Monday, go to the Central Coast with Haley, my girlfriend, and uh, took a really cool drone video. And then on Tuesday, we went out in Northeast Fresno. Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. And uh, both of those videos are up on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Um, but other than that, you know, pretty pretty uh, busy week, I would say. Yeah. Now on to our first segment of the day. It is kind of our forecast for the Fresno Clovis yeah. area. Man, we see a lot of growth in the future. Population right around half a million right now. And there's been a lot of growth, um, specifically northeast Fresno, uh, west Fresno, and even into Madera. Mm -hmm. um, but we see a lot of growth coming, don't we, Corey? Yeah, and, you know, reason for that being... It's so affordable it to is, live here. Yeah. Your money goes so much further, and just there's so much room to expand. Yeah, like definitely. you said, Madera, the nice Riverstone complex Beautiful. going in. I believe there's another one, you know, just a little bit up the road on Avenue or 41. Yeah. And also West Fresno, there's just so much space out there that definitely. I think in give it 10 years, it's going to be totally developed all the way to ground yeah. and even probably pass. And as Corey was talking, um, it's so affordable here. I mean, the average home price is right around 260000 and by my estimates, that number is going to skyrocket in the yeah. next 10 to 20 years. Um, you've, and recently, even, you've seen a rise in really nice luxury homes in Fresno. Obviously, you kind of have like that old luxury of Old Fig Garden and Lake Van Nuys. Um, but now, you know, you're moving up to Copper River in that area. Mm -hmm. And uh, some, really, some really, really nice homes. Yeah, definitely. All right. And moving on to our final segment of the day. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about our real estate experience so far. We both have a few deals under our belts, a yep. couple months in the industry. So really the first thing that we both agree is the best about this industry is the freedom that we have. It's not your typical 9 to 5 job. Like Luke yep. mentioned, you know, you took the day off on Monday. We didn't have to, you know, get that approved with a boss or anything. Definitely. Um, also, you have the opportunity to make a lot of money if you so choose to work hard. There's definitely a lot of opportunity there for you. Yeah, but it's not always easy money. It's and not. in fact, we made a video <laughs> on this. Yeah, we did, definitely. Next, um, um, you want to take the next one? Sure, sure. So you learn a lot about people. You learn a lot about people's skills, which is really beneficial for you if you continue into this industry and if you go into, say, another industry. Yeah, and uh, another one, knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. You know, at 19, we're starting this very young. We're learning all the ins and outs of buying a house. So come time to do it for ourselves, yeah. we'll be very informed. Definitely. I'm um, on to the cons. You are working with people a lot. And, you know, that's just inevitably stuff could happen. Not always uh, a good thing. But also, it's, it's all about, like, learning. So that's, mm -hmm. that could be turned into a positive as well. Yeah. And one of the biggest cons, I would say, is really the cost of it, and you don't have a fixed income at nope. the start. And in fact, you need about probably two to 3000 up front to yeah. get started as a realtor. Yeah, and uh, as far as having a steady income, Corey kind of mentioned, you know, you might have big site or large commission checks, but, you know, it's every two, four, or five, whatever months in the beginning, it's not steady at all. And that brings us to our conclusion of episode seven. Man, I can't believe we're already at episode seven. Yeah, it's hard to believe. Uh, of the Luke and Corey show, as always, we just want to thank you. We really appreciate your support. Yeah, thank you, guys. And uh, other than that, we hope you have a great Good yeah. Friday and, more importantly, a happy Easter with your family.